Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hake Hardware, and in this video we are going to get Windows Exporter installed on Windows 11. So this should be pretty easy. We're going to be using the Microsoft installer here, which automates a lot of what we would typically need to do. So we'll go through uh, the setup, we'll update our Prometheus config, we will verify everything's working and then finally set up our Grafana dashboard. So these instructions will be linked in the description of the video and I'm gonna pop over to my Windows computer so that we can get started. So the first thing we're gonna to need, to need to do is open up Firefox and we will go to the download page for Windows Exporter. So you can really just type in Windows Exporter and it's most likely gonna be the first result that you get here. So we'll just click that. And there's a lot of information in here about the different collectors, different uh, flags that you can specify. And I'm just gonna be using the defaults, but if you want to change anything, you can. You can see certain things are enabled by default. So if you wanna add additional things, you can do that. And you'll see there's an option when we're installing to get everything set up like that. So I'm gonna go over to the releases and click uh, just this 0.29.2, which is the latest. And then I'm gonna find the MSI installer for AMD 64. Now, if you have an ARM CPU, you can use one of the ARM ones, but we're gonna be doing the AMD 64 MSI. And then I'll just click this to get it installed. Firefox is just letting us know that we should be sure what we are downloading is actually what we want to be downloading. And then Windows is gonna basically do the same thing. Click Run Anyway if you want to proceed. And then the installer, sometimes it doesn't pop up. You might be like, what the heck, where to go? It's down here, you can see it flashing, so you just need to click it to bring it up. Then we'll click Next. Okay, so if Prometheus, which is what we're gonna be using to scrape the metrics, is installed on a different host, you're gonna to need to click this and do will be installed on local hard drive to install the firewall exception. This allows Windows Exporter to listen on a port. So that way Prometheus, which is on a different host, can reach out to this host and be like, hey, I wanna scrape metrics on this port and Windows will allow it. I'm doing everything locally. So Prometheus is running as a service on this computer. So I don't need this to be installed and I'm not going to install it. Click next. Now we have the configuration. And this goes back to what I was specifying about the different collectors you can choose. If you put nothing here, the defaults are gonna be used. If you wanna specify any command line flags, I'm going to keep the default port, but let's say you, know, you want it on a different port because you're already using this one. You can update this and use whatever port you would like. And then here, we're going to leave this to have a config.yaml. This is gonna just be blank, but if you ever in the future want to edit it, you can do that. So we'll click next and then install, press yes, and then click finish. And we can close the browser for now. We'll go down here and actually we'll open up our uh, Explorer and we'll go into C drive and then we'll go into program files. And you can see down here is where Windows Exporter is installed. And if you ever need to edit the config.yaml, you can do it here. All right, the next thing we're gonna need to do is get Prometheus set up to scrape Windows Exporter. So I'm gonna go back to my C drive. If you followed my guides for Prometheus as a service, you'll have your Prometheus in your C drive. Otherwise, you're gonna need to find out wherever you installed it. And then we're gonna open up the Prometheus.yaml. So I'll right click, do edit in notepad. And then back over in the uh, browser where we have the instructions on the wiki. I'm just going to copy exactly what I have there. Go to the bottom here, press enter twice and paste it in. So now we have Windows Exporter, that's the new job. And we're gonna be doing localhost. So I'm scraping from my current computer on port 9182. Now, if you change your port, you'll need to update it here. And if you're scraping from a different host, you'll need to actually put the IP address of the computer where you're scraping Windows Exporter. I'm just gonna do File, Save. And if you're running it as a Docker container, or if you're running Prometheus as a Docker container, 
You can just restart the Docker container, but if you're running it as a service, you'll need to type in services, go into the services and restart it. I don't know if you can hear, there's a garbage truck outside, but uh, okay, so Prometheus, and then we'll do restart service. We'll close that out. We'll bring the browser back up and we're gonna go to our Prometheus web front end. So mine is actually localhost 9090, which is the default. I'll go to status, targets, and I can see Windows exporter is already good. If you get an unknown, you probably just have to wait a few seconds, then click refresh and everything will be looking good. So we are scraping our metrics on localhost 9182. And the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to Grafana to get our dashboard set up. Now mine is running locally, so I'm just gonna do 9999, which is the port that I chose. Default, I believe is 3000. And then we'll go to the menu, dashboards, new, import. And then we're gonna be importing a community dashboard that was already built out. There's actually quite a few different options. If you just uh, Google like Windows exporter Grafana dashboard, you're gonna find a bunch of different options. For our example, we are going to use 20, hold on, gotta shuffle some windows around here, uh, 2763, so we'll just put that in and click load. I'm gonna leave everything basically default here, but I need to select my Prometheus source and then click import. Now you can see everything is looking good. We have all of our metrics in here. There's a few changes I do like to make though, because I prefer to do just the last hour, but you can adjust this at any time to whatever you want. And then I prefer to have it auto refresh every 30 seconds. And then if you wanna save this as your default, you can click edit, save dashboard, and then select all these to update the defaults, and then click save. That way when you refresh it, it's going to stay one hour and 30 seconds, but you can configure it however you want. So this will cover almost everything you need to know. We have uptime, we have CPU usage, all sorts of information. And you notice like I have it zoomed in a little bit. We're at 120% so that you can see a little bit better. Some of these aren't showing perfectly. If I zoom out a little bit, they get slightly better, but you can actually if you click the edit button again to go into editor, you can move things around and it's pretty snappy, but sometimes it takes a second to get everything how you want it. So if you do want to make some changes, it's not too difficult. You can always exit edit without saving. If you are if you mess it all up, you can just exit and then discard the changes. So there's a lot of cool configuration you can do. If it's too busy and you're like, I don't need you know this remaining disk space thing, you can click this. And then, well, you have to hit edit first, and then you can click it, and you can remove that panel altogether. So you can clean it up, move it around, make it exactly how you want it, which is pretty cool. So that's it for Windows Export Exporter. Hopefully this was helpful. Please feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.